welcome to our first program that we're going to do for data science using Python. All right, so we've installed Python, Anaconda from the last video. You know what this window looks like. This is where we're going to type our code, and we're going to need to do one or two things in order to make this work. So the first thing we're probably going to need to do is change the operating or the working directory. Now we could come up here and change it from here. Um, if we click here, that's what I'm going to do first. And then I'm just going to say I want to do the desktop because the file that I want to read is on the desktop. So that should be pretty easy. Now it's aimed at the desktop, so it should read my data. Now. Python by itself is pretty dumb. It doesn't know anything. So you basically have to tell it what you want to use in order for it to load it into memory. Okay? It's not like R or SAS or MATLAB or anything like that where most of the functionality is already there and there's the packages you install are just enhancements. Here the packages you install are the program itself. So keep that in mind. So it's pretty easy to do this. Um, all we have to do here is come over here and type import pandas. And this is for data analysis. And you usually give it an alias. So um, what we mean by an alias is I don't want to type pandas every time. When you see the code, you'll understand. Um, so here we're just going to read in a, well, let's put some comments here. This is really good. So import any necessary, and I can't spell, but you'll forgive me for that because this is computer coding and you only have to know how to get the syntax correct. So any necessary packages. Okay, now this will read in our pandas package and it's going to be called pd to read in the file. Uh, we can use, just type in the file, but we're going to use the uh, read underscore CSV uh, function uh, from pandas. Now, I've downloaded a cherry tree .csv file from uh, the repository that is linked um, somewhere in the description. Now, in this repository, you can read this or you can download this and this should work. So I'm going to call this, what it's going to do is it's going to create a data frame. And if you notice anything about what I do, I always put numbers on the ends of things. So you're going to say equals PD, which is telling it use from the pandas package. Okay. Because it's open source, this is really important. You might have multiple packages that might have the same function names, but do different things. So you put in PD and then read underscore CSV, and then we will put in, and now notice this brings up some information for you. It says it doesn't have any documentation, but it does bring up information. So I think it's called cherry tree dot CSV. And what I can do is I can highlight this right here, highlight all of this. And then the button I want to click is this one here. Okay. That one is going to run the selection or current line. Now you can also right mouse click and get it to work. Okay. So I've read this in. It's very, very easy. You can see it is actually over here in our variable explorer. So you can see there's DF1. It says it's a data frame. It says it has 31 rows and three columns. And the column names are diameter, height, and volume. And if you want to, you can click on it. And when you click on it, it actually brings the data up. So you can see the diameter, the height, the volume, and you can scroll down and look at all of it. Okay. And it changes the background color based off of sort of a, a little algorithm that it uses for the magnitude of the numbers. But here it doesn't really mean anything, so don't worry about it. Okay, so what have we done? We've read in some data and we've used our variable explorer. We learned how to know that we needed to always use a package. You have to do this every time. You don't, it's not like other programs where you've imported it once and you never have to do it again. Here you have to do it every time, and this is order for it to be memory efficient. You don't want to load up with a bunch of functions that you don't need. So what we're going to do is you will read in this package. That way it, only that package is in memory. And then we'll use the functions from that package referenced by PD. And you'll see how this works as we go along. But right now, the goal was is just to read in some data and make a little program where we feel like we can make this work. 
All right, so in the next video, we're going to learn how to do a little bit more with these uh, data frames and hopefully create a few other variables and see how they look when they're in the Variable Explorer. But we'll save that to the next one. So see you there.